So it comes down to this, just two teams. Which one? Which one? And here we have Paris Saint-Germain against Saint-Étienne. for pride and reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. So, just who will seize their moment? Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining but fear of defeat can often dominate the motions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Messi with the short one. Looking to shoot! A wonderful effort, all by himself. Well, he knew he needed a better angle to get a shot away, and I suppose at least he showed the best option, just didn't come off. OK, they've missed a couple of chances so far, but you can take nothing away from their spirit and desire. They look as though they want it more. Aurier tries a long pass towards the front. one. Wu pushes to get on the end of it. Messi with the ball through. Caught offside that time. Well, that longer ball, if played early enough, can catch a defence by surprise. Now, they got the offside decision there, but they should prepare themselves for more of the same. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. No goals as yet. And he's made certain that won't get through. Rabio will charge down the left. Fires it in low. Get that clear. Goodness, that has ripped the rigging. That is just the top draw finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. Paris Saint-Germain with themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? I look from experience, I can tell you that the first goal is always vital in any final. It can make such a psychological difference. And it's Tabanu. That's surely a foul free kick. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Rabio. minutes till half time Cristiano Ronaldo Cristiano Ronaldo danger averted for now well positioned to make that interception another piece of really good defending and that's been repelled now it's Rue 
Paris Saint-Germain are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Tabanou, he's off on a marauding run. Tabanou has been caught there, it's a foul. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Maybe the free kick could have been executed a little better, but they've got to be wary of conceding fouls from similar positions now, or it's a recipe for more trouble. They could pay the price. Tony Kroos. Cristiano Ronaldo. Nicely measured pass. It's Cavani! That's it for the first half. A breathless ending time in the final Jim how do you read it yeah they'll be boosted by the fact that they've got the advantage at this stage but will their approach be the same after the break and um, certainly if they don't add to it early on in the second half I think they may begin to retreat just try and hold on to what they've got Paris Saint-Germain needing a cagey game here it's had its moments and it's 1-0 at the break Paris Saint-Germain carry a one goal lead into the second half Laid out wide, and oh, that's too long. Turan. Fine defending there. Now it's Cavani. Looks to slip it through. Shakes the shoots. Well, that was a really awkward one for the goalkeeper to deal with. Still just a goal between them. Tabanou, Tony Kroos, cuts it out. Thiago Silva. And it's Messi. Messi doing well down the right, but he's left himself in need of support. Keeper's got good distance on that. The ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Blue. Pumps it upfield. Now it's Messi. Messi. Oh, that's beat. Messi! Really well taken goal. A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with and to find it, I think it was a fine drive and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Saint-Étienne have a sub ready to come on. Paris Saint-Germain take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Perrin hoofs it forward. Lobs it in gently. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! And somehow it stayed out. Look, that's exactly the sort of stuff you want to see in the final. That would have been some goal if it was on target. Oh, that's great stuff. Exactly what he's all about. He's just a nightmare for any defence. His movement, his pace, his anticipation. It's on another level. It's so hard for any defence to contain that. Saint-Étienne will get it back again. Terrain. Paris Saint-Germain still contemplating when to use their last remaining substitute. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. 
done very well to intervene. Is it out of harm's way? Tony Kroos goes short. Thiago Motta. Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. And if they don't get the job done from here, you look back on that moment and know he should have made it a three goal cushion, should have finished things off. Tony Kroos plays it short. Thiago Motta. Rapidly approaching the end. Just a few moments from glory. Fine defending there. Tries the route one option. Paris Saint-Germain have time on their side now, as well as a two-goal lead. It is just about done. It's a loose ball. They would surely have scored there more times than not. He's long and forward. Tries a through ball. Thiago Silva. Thiago Motta. Boots it upfield. Now the pass. He's through. Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. And he did so well to keep that down. That would have made life very difficult for the keeper. Oh, you could tell he really wanted that. I think what we're looking at here is just a very special talent. Someone who can decide the outcome of a match on his own. Sal passes it through. Tabaru! Deep into injury time! The goal uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Tabanu just knew instinctively where the ball was going to end up. That's clearly been worked on on the training ground and the understanding is, is pretty exceptional between them and it was beautifully worked. Saint Etienne give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. Paris Saint Germain have done it. It is party time as they gather to get their hands on the trophy. So, on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions. And this is their moment. Thank you.